The other culprit, and we've already touched on this a little bit, is insulin versus glucagon. So with insulin, as I mentioned before, when we have high blood sugar, so whenever we eat some carbs or eat some sugar, eat anything that has high amounts of starch and stuff like that, and essentially, actually, every food does, every food that you eat does actually raise insulin. Some certain foods more than others, but all of it does in a way. And when you have those high blood sugar levels, the insulin will promote glycogen synthesis, basically building of glycogen in our liver, storing it, as well as in our muscle cells and other tissues. And of course, building those fat cells that you know, we essentially don't really like. And <laughs> so then the opposite, like I mentioned before, is that when we have low blood sugar levels and we have kind of really depleted uh, you know, all our glycogen storage, glucagon really kind of kicks in and that promotes glycogen breakdown. So it breaks down the glycogen, that's what we want, so that we can eventually start breaking down the fat cells. And that's what this, the, the pancreas is doing. But the big culprit really here when it comes to weight gain and the weight issue is insulin resistance. So insulin resistance, and you might have heard this term with people who are diabetic or maybe pre-diabetic. Uh, what happens over time when we have a, where every sugar is in, in all our food, it's everywhere and it gets into our system, everybody has a some shape or form of some kind of insulin resistance over time. And what happens is essentially because Insulin is supposed to take the, the sugar out of our bloodstream and to utilize it for our body. But what happens is when the body starts producing too much insulin, the cells get resistant to it and it doesn't carry it through. And that becomes a real problem, especially for people who get central obesity or just even just weight gain, having issues and not understanding why you can't be losing weight. A lot of times it has to do with a lot with insulin resistance. Now the beauty about this is like, okay, how do we get rid of this? So a lot of research has shown that, hence going back to fasting, does really deplete insulin resistance. Why? Because it also decreases insulin levels as well as sugar levels. So when you can deplete that, it can give time for the cells to resensitize, to be able to resensitize so that there isn't so much insulin resistance and that we can have a more better functioning body to be able to lose the weight that we want to. And so we can kind of eliminate more of the hormone issue when it comes to insulin.